Hi, I'm Jamie from Earthquaker Devices, and I'm here to talk to you about the Sun Life Pedal V3. We worked in collaboration with Sun over several years to develop this version of the Life Pedal, and we're super stoked to have it back in our regular product line. While the previous versions of this device were limited, this one will be available from all our dealers on a regular basis. The idea for the Life Pedal was born during the writing sessions for the band's album, Life Metal. Sun guitarist Stephen O'Malley and Greg Anderson really dove into an otherworldly energy spectrum while composing the record and this device represents the culmination of all the tones used on those sessions. The life pedal is constructed of three circuits, an analog octave up, a distortion, and a boost. First, we'll look at the distortion circuit. This is based off one of the band's favorite pedals, the legendary Proco Rat, and it's a relatively faithful design with some additional clipping options. Amplitude is the output level control for the distortion circuit. Filter controls the tone of the pedal with a low pass circuit. When this control is at zero, the full frequency response is passed. As you turn it clockwise, it gradually rolls off the high end. Distortion controls the gain level of the pedal. Lower gain levels to the left and more crushing high gain to the right. There are three clipping options in the life pedal, op-amp, asymmetrical, and symmetrical. Op-amp bypasses all the diodes for a full volume op-amp clipping assault. This is the loudest and most cutting of the settings. Asymmetrical utilizes a mixed combination of diodes to achieve asymmetrical clipping. This delivers a lightly compressed and mid-heavy distortion similar to a valve amp. Symmetrical is the most true to the original RAT circuit. It produces a bass heavy and compressed distortion that almost leans towards a fuzz tone. Now I'm going to demonstrate the differences in the clipping diodes. Listen closely to how the tone changes at different gain levels. The analog octave up is part of the distortion circuit, so the distortion must be activated to use the octave. This circuit is inspired by the Shanai FY6, which was heavily used by the band during the recording of Life Metal. Since this is an analog octave, it is most pronounced when using the neck pickup and playing above the 12th fret. Additionally, you'll get the best tracking by playing single notes. 
That said, playing chords and using the bridge pickup will still deliver some sick sounds, especially when using lower tunings or a bass. octave can be blended in with the fundamental by using the octave blend control or by using an expression pedal and brought in or out of the signal path with the octave foot switch. This employs our flexi switch technology which means it acts as a latching switch when you tap it and a momentary switch when you hold it. The final piece of the life pedal is the boost circuit. It was a MOSFET booster based on our discontinued Black Eye Clean Boost, which is a favorite of Greg Anderson's. The boost follows the distortion circuit in the life pedal and can be used independently. When used in conjunction with the distortion, things can get very loud, very fast. Control labeled magnitude adjusts the output level of the booster. Unity gain is around noon. Turning counterclockwise cuts the level and clockwise boosts the level. While the boost is clean, there's enough output gain to overdrive the front end of your amp without the distortion circuit activated. Since the life pedal was designed for low tunings, it works great with bass. 
The filter allows you to fine tune the aggressive high end while blending in the octave adds an additional destructive character. Like with guitar, using the boost allows you to control how much the front end of your amp suffers and breaks up. You can also clean up the signal a bit by backing off on the magnitude control and compensating with the volume control on your amplifier. Life pedal also works great on things like synths and drum machines. Here's some sound samples so you can see how it reacts with a more percussive input. Thanks for checking out the Life Pedal with us. You can find out more about the Life Pedal and all our other devices at earthquakerdevices.com.